14 artists are in London to bring a touch of Turkey to international audiences. London is, first of all, a very important art capital in the world and we have uh, fantastic artists, Turkish artists in Turkey. If we exhibit their work here in London, it means uh, we can show it to the whole world. The work on shows not bound by one medium, but in almost all the pieces, colour is the most striking aspect. You could say they're all visual autobiographies. So I'm not saying necessarily they are portraits of the inner self, but they're definitely individuals. And so you have uh, installations to classical paintings, to uh, more graffiti type work, and they all reflect the individu individuality of the human spirit. The special guest is undoubtedly Ismail Aja, one of Turkey's most famous living artists, who's won critical acclaim for his hyper-real work. But this isn't the first time he's exhibited here in London. Pasha Triptych, a painting of his cousin in full Ottoman regalia, sits just a few miles away in London's National Portrait Gallery. Years ago, I participated in an exhibition at the National Portrait Gallery and I presented a painting of a pasha there as well. That painting was specific because it was a hyper-realistic painting. It got quite a bit of attention. I used my cousin as a model. Another characteristic of the painting was that it can be experienced by the blind as it had relief made of text in Braille alphabet. So far, Ajar is the only living Turkish artist whose work features in the National Portrait Gallery. But as more and more artists like him have their work shown globally, that's soon likely to change. Miranda Atti, TRT World, London.